Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what I'm going to bring you today. Today, the topic is called Leadership Strategies and Techniques Part 2. For leadership strategies and techniques part one, watch the video from the link above. And also for awesome suggestions and advices, you can book me through the links from the description section below and I will give you awesome insights into what you need to know for your profession and your organization. Okay, let's get back to the topic. Today in uh, uh, part two, uh, six episode of this um, uh, leadership strategies, te- uh, strategies and techniques, um, I will focus on the coordinator programs, the staffing, and the external relations and the discrepancy analysis. So first of all, coordinator programs. So what are the differences between the, uh, first of all, we have to know what are the differences between the uh, effective uh, program administrators and a new program manager. So a new program manager, uh, he enhances decision-making strategies by becoming uh, sufficiently familiar with the uh, program development concepts and uh, procedures. So by also uh, contributing ideas and methods to share decision-making and to suggest useful references where appropriate. So for an, if, uh, an uh, effective um, program administrator, he is more experienced, so he finds ways to simplify, for example, coordinated 40 conferences a year or supervising 200 evening courses, and yet he still produces high quality program, understanding that the strategies, important strategy factors um, in each situation, and avoiding becoming lost in the detail. So to coordinate the program, we should focus on, first of all, the program origins, and then we should focus on the orientations of the resource person, and then we should focus on the planning committees and also the supervision and also the situational inferences. So you can subscribe uh, to my channel by hitting the button so you don't miss anything, for I bring you a new topic, new ingredients, and new insights every Monday and Thursday. Okay, let's get back to the topic again. So next uh, strategy is staffing. So Knox has a quote about staffing. He said, staffing decisions are among the most influential on results because the people who work for an agency affect the process of making most of the decisions. So staffing involves like termination, involves in the uh, Selection and also involves in development, involves in supervision and reorganization. I'm going to go into uh, a little bit detail about each one of them. So for termination, is usually unsatisfactory results and also part-time position. So there are some mixed uh, signals for termination of staff because his or her work could be somewhere between good and bad. So for selection, for example, involved by the program administrators, planning or advisory committee and people from the parent organization. And for development, need to focus on the time and resources, need to focus on the encourage improvement and meeting with staff members to promote good staff development strategies and also encourage interaction with peers. Also table learning activities that accommodate interests circumstances and learning styles. Also, development involves in giving rewards to the strong performances. Next is the supervision. So by paying attention to concepts control, example familiar with the program and also motivation to grow. Now, next one is reorganization. For example, a new director may have the intention to introduce the transition. He will make the type the time to uh, some familiar to become familiar with the uh, agency and lead effectively. 
So if you like the contents, you can remember uh, remember to put your thumbs up and share it with your friend. And that will help my channel as well. And finally, we come to, no, the third uh, strategy is the external relations. So adult continuing education administrators encounter uh, obvious issues such as relationship, relations issues, and therefore shifts the uh, scientific insights to artistic insight and perhaps from the organizational to political dynamics. Stephen uh, here not suggests that the using decision making uh, strategies uh, uh, that effectively involve people from the parent organization and uh, also other providers regulatory uh, organization and the larger society and it could strengthen the uh, program planning. First, we might also be have to be familiar with the elements such as the authority inference, the authority inference and the policy. We have to become familiar such as the centralization and decentralization and also leadership roles and also interagency relations. And we have to uh, familiar also with the elements such as in the, within the larger society. Finally, we come to the last section of the strategies um, is the discrepancy analysis. So in discrepancy analysis, we must understand all the concepts, all the strategies that we have learned from part one and part two. So from that strategies, we can find out um, what can we improve on that. So, um, so for example, reading and discussing with peers can broaden administrators um, decision making and distinguish the differences between using their own uh, approaches and maybe they can find a more effective approach from other sources and also help manager for example to analyze those disc discrepancies and then consider alternative strategies and also the administrators help themselves in um, ongoing renewal of the existing plans when they participate in study and research for more knowledge and also remember knowledge must be combined combining with the courage to act uh, in conclusion that we have learned that there are differences between the uh, if uh, the effective uh, program administrators and the new uh, program manager and also we learned that to coordinate the program we must focus on the first one is a program origin we must also uh, need to focus on orientation of the persons and also the uh, planning committees we must focus on the uh, supervision and the situational inferences and adult uh, we also learn adult uh, continuing education administrators uh, they encounter external issues such as relations issue and the emphasis can shift from the scientific insights to artistic insights and perhaps from organization to the political dynamics and that's all for my topic today and I have a list of books listed in the description sections where you can click and buy and read for your leisure and for improvement of your knowledge and gain knowledge in this area. Furthermore, reading is very good for you because if you have experience, you have no knowledge, it's nothing. So you can have an experience, you can have to have an abundant knowledge, then you become a professional. So um, there's a phrase called um, knowledge is power, exactly what it means. So you can click and buy the book and also I can earn a little bit of commission. And also thank you for tuning in today for awesome suggestions and advices. Put me through the link for the description section. So you can, I can give you awesome insights into what you need for your profession and your organization. And also to subscribe to my channel by hitting the button so you will not miss anything as I will bring you new insights, new ingredients and new topics every Monday and Thursday. And if you like the contents, remember to put your thumbs up and share it with your friend. That's all for me today. Thank you very much for tuning in. Until next time and goodbye.